Item number SCP-3022 Object Class Family Special Containment Procedures Every instance of VIP-576 must keep one copy of SCP-3022 on the person at all times. All instances of VIP-576 are to remain at Site-19 at all times. Redundant copies of SCP-3022 are kept in storage lockers 813, A, B, and C. Any individual in possession of such an item must be detained, and if possible, the Baseline Universe Foundation must be contacted in order to establish a plan of action. Monomyth Protocol All restrooms at Site-19 possess hooks affixed to the interior of each store via an electromagnet. In the event of Type 5 Plus containment breach at Site-19 or a Cataclast event of any kind, these electromagnets should be automatically deactivated and VIP-576 should be instructed to activate SCP-3022 as soon as possible. All alternate universe foundations with which the Base 9 Foundation is in contact must also follow this protocol whether or not they possess a copy of VIP-576. Description SCP-3022 is an object constructed primarily of steel, approximately 13 centimeters in length, and weighing 316 grams. And held by an unaccompanied human in a stall in a public restroom, which possesses no hook suitable for hanging a coat or similar object, SCP-3022 will transport the holder to an alternate universe in which the stall possesses such a hook and is unoccupied. In most cases, the difference between the origin universe and the destination universe is minimal. Timeline divergence generally occurs no earlier than the construction of the venue in question and follows the least differences principle. A universe's tendency to receive instances of SCP-3022 is likely a function of how deliberate the decision to install hooks in a particular facility was, those in which the decision was made in accordance with established design principles have few similar universes in which hooks are not installed. The Base 9 Foundation has acquired beep instances of SCP-3022 from individuals traveling from alternate universes. The principles of SCP-3022's operation, as well as its origin, are unknown. It was originally discovered from the position of Beep, a civilian who appeared inside SCP-984 on 2016, August 8th. He was attacked by a rabid grizzly bear while inside SCP-984 and escaped with fatal injuries. Prior to Mr. Beep's death, it was established that SCP-984 displayed no anomalous properties in his Base-9 universe and that he had received SCP-3022 from an unspecified friend. Investigations of the Base-9 native Mr. Beep has found no involvement with anomalous activity and failed to locate any instance of SCP-3022. Addendum SCP-3022 is the only portable item in the Foundation's possession that enables substantial cross-universe transportation. By order of the O5 Council, SCP-3022 has been allotted to VIP-576 to use as a last resort measure to avoid death and or fundamental reality alteration. Cross-universe coordination under the Monolith Protocol has ensured that, when activated, SCP-3022 will transport VIP-576 to a universe in which no major containment breach or K-class event is occurring. Currently, VIP-576 is the only Foundation-controlled VIP that is likely to remain relevant in the aftermath of a K-class scenario. And as such, the Monomyth Protocol has not been expanded to include other VIPs.